How's it going, my beautiful weebs? And today is a uh, rather rainy day, unfortunately. Uh, at least it's not completely pouring right now, but it's currently May 5th. 2024 and i'm gonna head over to dc now for the miku expo but first i thought i thought i thought i'd explore a bit of uh dc check out some of the museums revisit museums because i've basically been to most of the most popular ones the air and space natural history um I, I might i might go to the american history if i have time which i think i will because i mean it's very early actually i think i'll get to dc by around like 11 11 30 ish and then that gives me a ton of time until the uh the doors open for vip because i actually managed to get a vip ticket somehow the doors open for vip around 5 30 i think if i remember correctly I and mean, i'm not interested in getting any of the perch so as long as i get a good spot in the in the uh in the general standing section i'm good driving to the metro now yeah i'm gonna take the train there uh mostly because i didn't want to drive in dc because driving in city sucks and plus parking is uh, absurdly expensive so really the metro is the financial decision oh look at that mini i want one i want one so bad uh check out all the people there there's gonna be a lot of cosplayers i saw in the discord there's a lot of cosplayers there and people handing out like merchandise like stuff they made should be fun all right just parked here at the metro now let's head over to dc i wonder if i'll run into anyone uh going to miku expo anyone wearing miku merch any uh miku cosplayers I saw some other people that are going to the Miku Expo. It's just, it's just young people on the train, so I'm assuming they're going. Okay. All right, made it to DC. Museum time. Honestly, the rain isn't that bad, especially since I'm going to be going indoors soon enough. I did bring an umbrella though just in case. Still haven't seen any uh, Miku people. I'm sure I'll run into some of them though. And here we are, the Air and Space Museum. Well, the uh, Air and Space was completely uh, shut down. Well, not shut down, but it's like sold out. I don't know why. I guess they're limiting the amount of people going in because of construction, maybe? That kind of sucks. But, I mean, it's not my favorite. I know that I know a lot of people in the Discord wanted to see it and check it out, but we'll head on over to the Natural History Museum, my personal favorite, uh, and see some animals and rocks and stuff that's natural. Okay, it's right over there, the Natural History. And not gonna lie, this rain is getting kind of annoying now. And it really doesn't help that I have the world's smallest Japanese umbrella. Just kidding, I took the wrong turn. So now, now I'm walking towards the uh, natu nat Natural History Museum. The one I was pointing at, that was the art gallery. But look at that, it's the, uh, it's the pencil. Here we are. Let's go see animals. Where's the monkeys? <laughs> Elephants. to mammals. Oh, it's so cool. This is such my favorite uh, museum for sure. It's so cool to see all the animals. Oh my God, look at the moose. I forget how big it is. I remember seeing some of these in Japan at that one zoo. <laughs> it looks so funny. People not subscribed to the Mozo channel. All right. 
right? And this is my personal favorite part of the museum, the ocean life, because sharks and uh, Gura sharks, yeah. They even have a Genshin Impact player on display. Isn't that amazing? This part's completely new to me. I don't know how I haven't seen it. It's the African history part. Kind of looks like a Kiara sword. And here we have Kolsa Kibiju's family. Yes, here are the pebbles. Wait a second, that looks like that one Pokemon. Alright, that's enough of the natural history museum. Now let's go over to check out the American history. Never been it, I don't think, so it's gonna be new. Here it is, the American History Museum. I think I can with confidence say I have not been here yet. This will be new for me. Oh wait, never mind. I have been here before. This is where um, I think it was middle school. We went on a field trip here. I see, I see, I see schools here. Yep. <laughs> oh, it makes me feel old. When I came into the lobby here, for some reason, that's when I remembered it. So I was looking on my Google Maps timeline and apparently I was here right before the pandemic started. Right before the pandemic started. It's crazy to think that.
All right, not gonna lie, I'm kind of museumed out and I'm now realizing I came here way too early. It's only um, 1.30. Oh gosh, I had to kill another three hours somehow. Uh, eh, let's just make our way over to the wharf at this point. I'll just chill over there, maybe grab a uh, burger at the Shake Shack right next to the Anthem. Let's go. All right, on my way to the venue now passing by the spy museum. Never seen this before. I know some of my family members have gone. It looks pretty cool. Spy museum. So I ran into uh, a couple of fans going to the Miku Expo also, but uh, it looks like it appears that they're heading that way too. I'm going, I'm heading over there now to get some Shake Shack. Whoa, that was a higher drop than I thought it was gonna be. All right, and we're already here. Whee. For an 18 minute walk, that did not feel long at all. I, th I guess, my, 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 my guess is that uh, all, my, all my Tokyo and Japan adventures have given me uh, plenty of experience walking in cities for a very extended amount of time. So uh, yeah, <laughs> that works. I'm not tired at all. If anything, I'm just hungry. So it's burger time, burger, burger.